Today's topic deals with how to have long conversations in order to improve your English. Now, a lot of students are encouraged to speak in English in order to improve it. But do you know that a lot of students cannot really hold on a long conversation? They really can't talk for a great length of time. They need help to have a long conversation. So how can I improve my English if I can't seem to have a long conversation? Well, today's topic is going to teach you how to do exactly that. So, the first tip in order to have a long conversation is to ask WH questions. So, if you want to strike a conversation and keep a conversation going because you've got to make it very long, you've got to always ask WH questions. Now, what are WH questions? Questions like a what, that begin with a what, or a when, or a which, or a where, or probably a how. These are WH questions. Now, why do you ask a WH question? Because questions that begin with these words always will give you more information that you can build upon. I'll give you an example. So say for example, if you ask someone, where did you go for the weekend? Now, the person might say, I went to say McDonald's, for example. And you can say, well, I went there last Sunday too. And then you can talk about the food and you can talk about what you like at McDonald's. So basically, questions that begin with WH or WH questions always gets more information about the person you are speaking with. And that helps you build on, uh, build on a conversation. On the other hand, if you ask a very general question like, did you have fun over the weekend? The person might say yes, and that's the end of the conversation. And then you've got to start a new topic all over again, right? That gets a little bit difficult. Therefore, in order to hold on a conversation, always start by asking WH questions, okay? The number two tip in order to improve your English by having a long conversation is to give one or more details. So if you are doing the answering, you know, if a question has been asked to you and you are doing the answering, you might want to give more details about what you are talking about. So say if you are talking about uh, a topic relating to sports or say cricket, okay? So cricket is a very common sport in many countries, okay? So if you're talking about cricket, you might want to give one or two details that will help get the conversation going. So you can talk about the fact that you are a good batsman, or you could talk about the fact that you've been playing cricket for five years or 10 years, or ever since you were a child, or you could talk about the fact that you are an all-rounder, or you could talk about the famous cricket cricketers that you know. So you might always want to give one or more details relating to the topic that you are discussing because that will help you talk more and improve your English, right? Okay, so that is your second tip in order to have a long conversation. The third tip in order to keep a conversation going is only talk or indulge in topics which will ensure that the conversation goes long. It basically means that you've got to be smart enough to only talk about certain topics like sports, um, you know, famous cultures. You might want to talk about food. You might want to talk about travel. Or you might want to talk about personal experiences, your experience and the person who you are talking to, their experiences as well, 
okay? So you might want to talk about experiences. It basically means that you are going to only discuss topics which will ensure that you will have enough to talk about because these topics always give you a lot of information, give you a lot of things to discuss about. On the other hand, what should you not discuss? So you're going to avoid topics relating to health issues, um, personal finance or money problems. We don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about religion. That's a very sensitive topic. You don't want to talk about, um, you know, sexual or, you know, uh, sexuality or sexual preferences. Okay, so these are certain topics that you want to, you know, kind of steer away from because you want to have a long conversation. You don't want to make it awkward, so you're going to have to avoid these topics and kind of stick with topics that will give you more to discuss about, okay? The fourth tip in order to have a long conversation is that you should never be afraid. Um, a lot of students think that they might end up speaking bad English, they might end up fumbling with some words, and therefore they might avoid a long conversation. That's what they think. Um, but I would say that don't be afraid. In fact, if you want to ensure that you are confident, always prepare. So, if you are, or if you know that you are going to strike a conversation with someone, prepare yourself. So, say for example, if today I'm going to go out and talk to someone about food, I will do some research about all the vocabulary relating, relating to food. So I can get related words like cuisine. It's a new word. When I learn a new word, I feel more confident when I talk about it, right? So always prepare yourself before you strike a conversation. So whatever topic you've got or you think you're going to talk about, try to find related words around it and try to put that in a sentence Practice what you're going to say, and that way you are not going to be afraid because when you know new words, you get more confident. Okay, so keep practicing and don't be afraid to use words in a long conversation. Okay, and the next tip in order to keep a conversation going is to listen. Now, a lot of people think that conversations only comprise of people talking, but that's not a conversation because listening is as important a component of a conversation as talking is, okay? So you've got to listen. Now, especially if you are going to have a conversation with a native speaker, listen carefully to the words he uses. In fact, a lot of native speakers may use certain slangs you know, popular slangs that you may never have heard about. So when you hear new words, when you listen to new slangs, you can actually make a mental note of it and use it in your future conversations with other people. Okay, so every time you listen carefully to someone who speaks good English, there is always something to pick up from what they're saying. It could be a new word, it could be a new slang, it could also be a new style of speaking, okay? And that, if you make a mental note of it, you can use that in your conversations and always improve your English, okay? And um, when you're kind of about to finish the conversation, the last tip tells you that you should never abruptly end your conversation, okay? So when you are in a long conversation and when you're kind of, you know, getting over it, you've got to end it by being very polite and being very courteous, of course. Uh, you can use good, you know, words like thank you or I'll talk to you some other time, I'll see you around. So do not end the conversation abruptly. Don't just walk away, okay? 
because once you've had a long conversation, you not only get to speak good English, you not only get to improve your English, but you also get to make friends, right? So that's a very good thing. And I think if you apply all these tips, you're always going to learn to have long conversations and you're going to continually improve your English. Well, that's it from me on this lesson. I'll be back with some more lessons. Until then, this is me saying 